Last night for the first time we had the Battle of the Bedards, Connor versus Raphael Harvey. Who will be the better man? Only time will tell. The Canadians pulled off one of their most underwhelming pre-game ceremonies that I can ever remember. Just plain bread, not a bit of garlic on it at all. I mean, that's gotta be the biggest disappointment of the night, no? <sighs> Enter Jared Tenorti. Who absolutely staples Kirby Doc in the first period. Oh my god, he put him right in the bench. Doc would leave the game and not return. He's out with what they're calling a lower body injury right now. And I don't even know what to say. Why does Doc gotta get hurt? Jeez. You know what? Sometimes I wish Mark Tenorti got snipped. But that's the only bit of action we really get to see in the first period, aside, of course, from Ada salivating over Connor Bedard. Now, moving on to the second period, and we finally get to see our very first goal of the game. Josh Anderson finds Cole Caulfield, Caulfield pulls off some of his magic, goes to his backhand, and just scores a ridiculous looking goal. What a beauty. You gotta admit, that was pretty nice. So he's having a good game. You wanna know who else actually had a really good game? Line number three, the entire line. What a stop by Mrazek. We'll see some more of these guys in just a minute. Oh, but first, it's time for some Bedard on the bench. Wow, I wonder if they follow this kid to the urinal. Because I bet he does a handstand when he takes a piss. And with 12 minutes left to go in the second period, it's Tanner Pearson scoring his very first goal as a head. What a nice little dish. From Caden Gooley as well, and you can just see the excitement in Pearson's eyes. It's a beautiful thing. I was happy for him. The Hawks get a power play shortly after. It's supposed to be the Connor Bedard show, but Raphael Harvey is about to steal it away. Watch him go to work. He's short-handed. First, he gets robbed by Mrazek on a breakaway, and then like 20 seconds later, he just out-hustles Jones and finds Sean Monaghan. Monaghan makes no mistake. It's tree-zip right now for the Canadians. And look at poor Jones. Oh my god, can we switch Bedards? Guys, is it too late to switch Bedards? <sighs> yes, it is, Jones. Raphael is ours. Now we're going to hit into the third period, and we got to give the Hawks some credit because they do make the game interesting. Did you forget that Tyler Johnson existed? Yeah, me too. He finds a loose puck and beats Samuel Montembeau for his first goal of the season. Then he scores his second goal of the season near the end of the game when the Hawks are really making a push. But they did it. The Canadians win. Connor Bedard does pick up a point on the second Johnson goal. I just want to make that perfectly clear because I'm pretty sure I can get arrested for not making note of it. And overall, I enjoyed the game. But watching Kirby Doc leave early really did take the wind out of my sails. That sucked. Guys, I don't want the Canadians to lose Kirby Doc right now. Not only is he one of my personal favorite players to watch out there, but it seemed like finally Yuri Slavkovsky had some good chemistry going with someone and then bam, potentially it all gets taken away in game number two. Maybe it's only going to be a day-to-day -day type of thing. We don't really know just yet. Martin St. Louis did say that he's going to get, you know, further evaluation done today. So hopefully he's not going to miss a significant amount of time because that one would sting. Carey Price and Paul Barron were also at the game. That was kind of cool. I mean, the fans loved it. The fans also showed Corey Perry some love. Arbor Jack, uh, not so much. <laughs> Perry's the kind of guy that would just run up and kick a ball on the bars and run away. You know what I mean? But you got to love him. But that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on game number two. You can let me know how you felt about this one down in the comment section. Don't forget to cross check the like button on the numbers before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.